Hello and welcome to What Are You Saying? Hashtag Ways, where we talk about topics in the news as it affects us all. I am Usaiwa Mesale, and today I'm joined by an amazing, pretty <laughs> guest co anchor. Oh, thank you, thank you. Oneze thank you. Okolo. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. As you pick On the name, you selected. <laughs> I selected the name I wanted. You can still call her Winifred, right? Winfrey. Winfrey, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Winfrey. You're looking so pretty. Thank you. So tell us a little Thank bit you. about Winfrey. Okay, so Winfrey is a media personality. Uh, she's also, she studied law, University of Benin. Mm, yes. And also, she runs uh, the Pageant Academy, uh, which is actually a training ground for aspiring models, beauty queens, and things like that. Yes, also has a few businesses here and there. So, yeah. But then again, the passion and the drive is for Nigeria. She's a strong um, patriot, and she believes that what's happening now deserves to be happening. I will. Um, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. You know the funny thing? So when you just said strong patriot, so I'm just thinking, so it means officially you've announced that you're not you're not escaping. Mm -mm. You're not part of those people relocating mm -mm. to other parts of uh, the world. No, no. <laughs> funny thing, people ask me that question every time. What are you doing here? Like my family members, they're literally, someone has started an application for me and I'm like, see, I get it. People are like, fine, it's good to have an escape plan, a plan B, but I'm like, if we all leave, who is going to work and make this ha work for us? Maybe I love this country too much. Do we have Uti? Uti is supposed to join us via Zoom. <laughs> Uti, are you there? Yes, I am. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you loud and clear. Hi, Uti. Yay, fantastic. I'm good, thank you. I'm doing great, thanks. A little frazzled, but I'm okay. So <laughs> how was your training? I know I had to drag you into the show today, but you... <laughs> my, like, I'm sure the, my guys were wondering why is she talking so fast? What's going on here? <laughs> but we got through it in the end, so it's great. Okay, oh, so how have you had... Uti, your people have started, though. They blocked Chevron, though. Hmm. I'm, I'm probably going to sleep in your house well, this night. <laughs> that's why I'm sitting in my house, you know, because there's just so much going on. And mixed feelings is what I will say. Um, we talked about it yesterday. And um, I've been looking on Twitter and seeing some of the organizers. And, you know, let's really focus on a way forward. When are we going to start some dialogue to move the needle? Because mm -hmm. um, whether we say that we're applying pressure or we're standing on their necks, all the different colloquialisms that I've seen um, on social media, we do need to use this momentum judiciously. What are we going to do with it? How are we going to, you know, move from this to real change? So, I mean, the guys who are doing uh, organizing this and logistics and all of that, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't necessarily say I'm amazed because I seem, it seems like people keep saying, oh, they've done this, they've done that. We are resilient people. One thing Nigerians are good at is adapting. We get it done. We do what needs to be done, and that's mm -hmm. what they're doing. So. Mm -hmm. It's not, um, it, it's the Nigerian spirit, but we really now need to drive forward on this and really aim for the change we're looking for. Absolutely, absolutely. So today we have an interesting conversation. We're talking around eradicating poverty in Nigeria. And here's what we found as today's quote. Poverty is the parent of revolution and crime. That's from Aristotle, the Greek uh, philosopher. So what do you think, Uti? When I saw this quote, I say, ah, ah. Is this why we are having a revolution? Is this why there's crime in Nigeria? <laughs> uh, if they say poverty is the parent of revolution and crime. Mm -hmm. For me, it's just apt in this season that we're, we're at right now. Yeah, Uti, you wanted to say something? Uti, are you there? I was just going to say that, I mean, I absolutely agree with the quote. It's what drives people, you know, you get to a point. I saw a, a comment today on Twitter and the person was talking about the youth and, and everybody at the end of it just said, look, the reality of it is Nigerian youth have gotten to the point um, and it was said in Yoruba and it was auto care, like enough is enough, right? Mm -hmm. So when you get to, it's just like saying necessity is the mother of invention. When you're hungry, it's, it's almost like activating fight or flight. Mm -hmm. So it's either you, you, rev you, know, you revolutionize or you take to crime. Mm -hmm. So I totally agree with the quote. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. How about you? I uh, personally think, fine, I, I, I totally agree with it. But I think maybe they should have rearranged it. So maybe poverty is the parent of crime and then a revolution. Because we've been in a crime state for a very long time. And of course, we're complaining about crime. We're complaining about the police brutalizing and killing people. What mm. is causing that? They are paid peanuts. Mm. They can barely fend for their families and all of that. Do you understand? So because of that, 
automatically they are pushed into crime, mm. even if they are the ones meant to be protecting mm. and standing against crime. So it's only normal. And because of that, so you think that it's, it's poverty is the parent of crime, crime. that eventually leads to a revolution. A revolution, exactly. Well, anyhow. Because we're at that point now. Can I just jump in there? Quickly, yeah. Uti. <laughs> oh, can you hear me? Quickly. So I just wanted to quickly say that the crime too, the rich people commit crime. No, definitely. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. So I don't definitely. necessarily know that it's a trajectory from poverty to crime. Well, There's a lot of rich people in crime. <laughs> Absolutely. True, 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 true. What, what true. causes the rich man to commit crime? Well, we'll talk about that later. So, get some more <laughs> so Bryce Stevenson, a lawyer and a social justice activist, said something, and I quote, my work with the poor and the incarcerated has persuaded me that the opposite of poverty is not wealth. The opposite of poverty is justice. As we all know, the Nigerian youth are on the streets protesting, and this begs the question of the role of poverty and what it has played in our current realities in our country. So Femi Akonde is here to discuss this. But first, we'll take a break for what's in the news.